Hey everyone, back for another summary for our Dishonored Rebirth, a Blades in the Dark campaign. So, two uh, scores of espionage, first looking up Fredericton, a respected member of the Laborers' Union who seems to fight for the people. The group worked hard to get some blackmail information from sneaking into his office. Oddly enough, the district was on high alert for Blue Coat, so they seemed to be in a relaxed mood and overly quiet that night. There was no security on the windows, nothing was locked except for a hidden vault found behind a photo, uh, connecting them to the Hemholt, to Hemholt a, uh, one of the nobility in the city. The group took the evidence and passed it on and sold some of the remaining drugs. After that, the group had a disgruntled man looking for where Mel Thomas Malcolm was getting his spirit bottles, especially after the new ban on them across the city wide. Uh, the group decided to look into it, but thought following the strings that Gwen Forge might have more information. Finding she had a secret workshop in the back of a uh, doctor's clinic, the group decided to sneak in there in the early morning. There they found another Gwen Forge stored, as well as a number of curious curiosities, including something that some of the others let go into the water. Meanwhile, at the front of the store, a large man who seemed to be he referred to as the doctor was distracted by one of the team as he kept trying to go to the back room to get something to help some of the patients. Eventually they managed to clear out the thing including grabbing the fake real Gwen Forge question mark number of rich supplies and other things. All right guys that's our summary for the week. Hope everyone has a great week and I'll see you Friday. Bye for now.